What's up guys, it's Jason with MP3D and today I've got something really big and really cool to show you guys. Let's go. I know, I know this thing's absolutely massive. This is Sideshow Collectibles Deadpool Heat Seeker Exclusive Editions from Sideshow Collectibles. It is quarter scale. This thing is right at 27 inches tall. I'm going to get it out of the box. I'm going to get all the parts out here in front of you guys so you can see it. But this is something I've been looking to buy for a really long time. It was getting low in numbers. There's only 2,500 of these available. And uh, I'm really excited to get this. So let's get this thing out. I'll put all the parts on the top of this and then we'll put it together right in front of you guys. Let's go. To say that I'm excited would be a huge understatement. This thing, just getting the parts out and having it in front of me finally, I, I really can't explain it. It's something that I've been looking at at Universal Studios in the comic section of their collectibles in there for a really long time. These things are super expensive, so it's something I didn't know if I was going to purchase, but over time, I just, you know what, I'm just going to save up, and when I get an opportunity to buy it, I'm going to, and that's what I think you guys should do. This is not a toy. This is a premium collectible from Sideshow Collectibles. I'm really just excited to have this. This is a display piece. This is going to be something that my buddies, when they come over, they're going to look at and just go nuts over. But this is, I'm going to hold this up, and I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to break anything. This is uh, 256 of 2500, the exclusive edition. Now, they do have a limited edition. Uh, I want to say a collector's edition, a limited edition, and then this exclusive edition. And what it basically is, it comes with different heads and a couple of extra pieces that are a little different from this. But the only one that I've really seen is the one that I currently have. And then one he's got, uh, basically he's got a, uh, a selfie stick that he's doing a picture of while he's shooting. So anyway, this thing is just pretty much plug in the parts. So I'm going to kind of talk about it. But Deadpool's always been one of my favorite characters uh, just because he's just such a... He's just a non-traditional, he's an anti-hero, he's just somebody that you wouldn't expect to be a hero. I really love Ryan Reynolds' uh, interpretation of this guy, but uh, if you've never bought any of these uh, pieces from Sideshow Collectibles, you know, it's, to be totally honest with you, these things are just really amazing. They're, uh, they, they've got magnetic pieces, they're really heavy, they're really large, and most of the pieces, um, I know that's going to probably be... Let's see, what is that? All right, so these things are really heavy. The pieces are magnetic, so they plug in. But, uh, you know, once you put it together, you want to try to find a spot. Eventually, I'm going to have some display areas, uh, some cases and things like that. But this has got basically, a, it's really heavy. Uh, it's got basically a keyhole in there, and all the pieces go in. Uh, I've probably watched this thing get unboxed a few times. <laughs> A few times but I pretty much know how this goes so we're gonna actually just see um, this is his uh, sword and this actually just basically just magnetizes to the back so this little piece here is actually a magnet and it just pops right in it looks like it goes straight into his back so that's super cool if you guys can see that it just it just magnetizes and goes straight in there uh, into the keyhole so it doesn't just pop out so that's piece one, super excited. Uh, this thing at Universal Studios um, in the comic area was something that my son and I, every time we went in, we would just go, I really want that. That's probably one of my favorite ones. I, I love how Deadpool breaks the fourth barrier in comic books and in movies, and he, you know, he talks to the reader, he talks to the audience. I just think that's super cool. Um, check this sword out, okay? Um, uh, I'll show some close-ups once the video is over, but this is basically him. He has cut a grenade in half. I love how dynamic the pose is. Um, you know, like I said, you're getting, you are definitely getting what you pay for when you purchase these because they're expensive, but the detail is ridiculous all the way down to his shoestrings. And I'll show you close-ups, but this whole explosion, it's, it's translucent so you can see through it. And the explosion and debris kind of reminds me in Deadpool when he blows up on top of the barrels and everything's just flying. I just think that's really cool. All of these little pieces, 
even down to uh, this piece right here, which is uh, coming out of the gun, and it's got a, it's even got a bullet coming out. So let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and put his hand on here, so you guys can see. Uh, it takes. This is this is so cool. All right, so let's get uh, his hand in here. Sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, maneuvering to figure out exactly where everything goes, but that's coming from behind his back. And let's go ahead and place his head in the slot where it goes. Again, that'll just magnetize. Let's pop his hand off, put his head in first. And uh, let's see. Okay, so he's looking at us. There's the gun. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. It stands almost 27 inches tall from base to top, and I think it's like 20, I, I forget how wide it is, uh, but it's it's really massive. Just the whole thing is fantastic. And it's called Heat Seeker for a reason. And uh, let's go ahead and put the little piece that's the bullet that comes out right here. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, let me pop the hand off and do this kind of uh, like this. No big deal. If that broke off, I can I can basically just uh, glue it back on there. I don't think I broke it. I think it just came loose. But but the hand and the bullet tip, you guys can see that. That's really cool. I'm so nervous putting this thing together. But if you're into comic books and you're into the Deadpool series, this one is by far, uh, I think Deadpool's one of my favorite. He's just such a really cool character. Uh, this Heat Seeker missile goes in to the side. And then all of these little pieces here just slide into place. Um, I'm not sure exactly which ones go where. So we're going to kind of just uh, see how these fit. I should have put this thing on the little turntable deal to see how this goes. I think that one goes there. This one goes there. And then I think this one, that's not you. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. I think that's the right one. Let's see if this one goes here and this one goes. I may not have these exact. These may kind of be different. Okay, so they've got colors on them. Okay, so yeah, I had it right the first time. This one goes here. That one does go there. All right, so let's actually, I'm gonna put this off to the side and uh, get the little turntable here thing so you guys can kind of see it. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. This is just such a really cool piece. Um, like I said, there's a, there's a little piece that I have here. I think it just popped loose. Um, it's just a shell casing, I think, and I'm gonna pop that off and put it on there. But if you can kind of get, <laughs> A size comparison there you can see Deadpool that is actually one from Diamond Select Toys but uh, check this thing out oh my gosh I cannot wait to display this I cannot wait for my son to come down and see this the grenade being cut with a sword and that is actually a metal sword so super cool but uh, I'm gonna give you guys uh, some close-ups in just a second but if you're in the market for premium collectibles and you know you have the ability to buy something as nice as this I would say absolutely go for it uh, this will be something that I'll have displayed for years to come either in my studio or in my man cave and this will be something that I know my son is gonna be drooling over I know he's gonna love this and I know I'm probably out of focus because it's, it's focusing on uh, Deadpool but this is something I've been wanting for a really long time and I'm just, I'm really glad to have it. And I think it's just going to be a really cool addition to the studio. And uh, like again, I'm going to give you some close-ups. So anyway, uh, I, if you guys like this, I actually have two more pieces that I'm going to be unboxing here in the next couple of days. So if you like things like this, uh, please be sure to uh, subscribe. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. Be sure to hit the post notifications so that you guys know that my content's coming out. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this, and I'm going to show you guys some slow-mo uh, close-ups of this right now. Let's go.